Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back indeed. I have been busy in the forge, as you can see. And I have a full set of black bronze armor on. I am almost up to 50%. I'm at 48.1% on the smithing bonus for armor. So that is good. I've also made a few technological additions. As you can see, the way we do that is we take a spring and we take uh, two slabs of wood and then when they get pressed apart it activates and the spring pushes them back apart. So now when I leave the workshop it will always close behind me. So I can leave, I can go back in and the doors automatically close so I will be safe inside even when it is dark and bad things are outside okay also I have made a lot of metals we've got our copper and bronze which we've been using all along bismuth bronze black bronze brass sterling silver rose gold and of course our wrought iron so sooner rather than later I am going to need to start working on wrought iron armor uh, but before we do that, and I wish it weren't dark, you know what? I guess I could go to sleep. All right, let's take a nap. I'll see you in the morning. Okay, can't hear the roosters from out here, but that's okay. Get some breakfast. Okay, the other thing I've done is I made some scales so that I can start weighing and cutting up and dividing food precisely. And uh, we are going to build bridges today. We need a bridge here so that I can roll the cart up to um, right in here somewhere so that I can more easily unload it. You know what? I didn't think of this fence. I might have to move this fence over. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'll end up doing that so that the cart fits through here. But anyway, a bridge here and then also a bridge there somewhere. So that is what we're going to do. Let's go. Uh, I need more food before I start on this project and also let's check out the scales. Let's see if we can't figure out how to make that. Okay now I have never fiddled around with this, never ever, but I believe we need some planks and yes, 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 and two bowls to put our stuff in. So there's that. The weight we can put we need more counter space. I don't, I've never really used this, so I guess I'll take this. And it's empty, so that's fine. We can put the scales there. And then I think we can store, yeah, we can store our weights here. Oh, this is so cool. Let's try doing something here. Uh, let's get all the decay off. Oh, man. There we go. Okay, and so let's say that we wanted exactly, yes. Okay, here's a good example. So in this barrel, I can't fit these green beans right now because only 80 goes in. But if I use my knife to cut it in half, now I have two pieces of 46, which would be a lot of wasted space. So what we can do, stack that into 93. I believe this is how it works. We can uh, get 80, which would be 50, and 20 is 70 and that's 80 and then we can cut yes look at that and now we have exactly 80 and the rest the leftover is 12 and now if I put the green beans in here it be the max amount that can fit in one slot so we can be a lot more economical in our cutting very very precise that is really cool nice I should almost make another one for uh, you know what? I think I will. I'll make another one for the, the, the cellar that I'll eventually build. But anyway, uh, this now can go... I guess maybe I should make a shelf for the candle. It's burned out anyway, so we'll go there. Then this is by the table. I don't know. Anyway, I need more sandwiches. So I will make up some more sandwiches and then we are going to go bridge building and I will tune in once I've made some progress. Okay, the sun is going to set soon. 
which means I need to get in out of the rain and get some supper. And hoo hoo, the garden is growing very nicely. It is already the sixth day of spring. Anyway, uh, the bridge is coming along nicely. Um, I think I'm going to try to make it look just a tad more rounded, so eventually I will chisel away at it and such. Uh, but yeah, I'm out of bricks. I need to get some sleep, get dried off, get some food, get some bricks, and we will keep working. But I think it'll work. I think it'll work. And then uh, we also need to clear this hill away and make a little bit of a road going through here and then right here probably, actually right here, the narrowest part will make another bridge going across there. So that'll be nice and man it is dark. It gets really dark in Terraformer Craft. Well, let's get inside. And I just got inside and I noticed that the house isn't that much better. Man, these torches are out. It's pretty much dark in here. These candles have burned out. So I need to replace them. Okay, I've been working like crazy all through the day and this is the second night already. I had to go shear some sheep for some wool. I ran out of yarn. I've got one more candle to make here. Boom, there we go. I've got 18 candles, plenty of candles. And that one is a new one, so that's good. Let me get the rest of these uh, candles uh, lit up and then we are going to keep working on the bridge, finally. Okay, it is the first day of late spring and the bridge is complete. And these torches are just going out. Oh, I put some candles out here. I wonder if candles go out. Torches get extinguished and... Oh no, candles go out too. I need to make some oil lamps. I need to make oil lamps. That is what I need to do. But the bridge is done and I am starving and I need fruit and I believe the first fruit that gets ready is strawberries in late spring. So if we're lucky we should get some strawberries. Some strawberries should be ripe. Please be ripe. They're not all right, but some of them are. Yes. Oh, that is good. Those are really, really good. I will take more. What is going on? I opened the door to get firewood, to bake some bread, to make some sandwiches, when that birdie came in. First a magpie, and now a blue jay. You birds. I am going to try to see if this guy will stay inside, so I'll try to be more careful when I leave this time. But yes, I am in the process of cooking up some sandwiches. Hey, where'd he go? There he is, some sandwiches, so that I can finally get started on the other bridge. Okay, I am out here to hopefully gather some lumber for the bridge. Is this, oh, that's oak. Um, do I not have any hickory? Where is my hickory grove? Oh, here, here, no, that's maple. Hickory, I thought I had hickory, but maybe not. Is this hickory? Yes, this is the hickory. There is a rooster over there and I just used the last of the venison for my sandwiches so I need myself some more meat. Rooster, stand still. Like that and like that and like that. I think that does look better, doesn't it? When it's connected, yeah, I think so. Okay, a wooden suspension bridge. How will we do this? Let me think about this and I will be back soon. This is a horrible idea, being out here in the dark, but that's what I'm doing. 
Okay, I may or may not have figured something out here. I actually literally did count the pixels of my rise over run, and then I divided it until my run was 1, and the top number came out to 1.5. It was 28 pixels uh, down and 18 pixels over, so if you uh, reduce that to a denominator of 1, you get approximately 1.55 repeating over 1, so 1.5 over 1. And so what I did is I went two up and one over. Two up, one over. No, it was for every one over I went two and then one. So two here, one there. Two here, one there. Two here, one there. And that, I believe, is the proper ratio. So let's keep going here. So that's two, that's one, that's two. So we need one more here. And then we'll need two here. And then one more. And get rid of all this other junk here. I'll do that later. So one, that's a two, up by one, up by two, up by one, up by two, and then up by one, and now up by two, and we are against. Okay, so now, uh, unfortunately, this block here needs literally needs like two pixels out of the entire block. I need two right there, but anyway, we can do that later. Um, I, yikes, I do need to be up here though, and keep chiseling. Fortunately, there's nothing in the background that I could reach, so I could just hold the click down. And yeah, okay, so now the problem is though, I also at the same time, out of the same block, need another cable that goes down to the middle one. So I need to go back and redo these top few ones here, but I just decided to see to get this prototype working. And it I think it actually it actually worked. Don't click the other block. There we go. I wish once you whittled something around that you could take like your pickaxe and chop this, but I think if you if I yeah, if I break this block that breaks too, which it's kind of unfortunate, but that's okay. Just a whittling away. Just a whittling away. Whittling away. Whittling away, whittling away, whittling away. Okay, and now I can also change modes here. Oh, I just cycled through the whole thing. And I could go like one and one and one and I should maybe try to get up on top oops I missed one here nine and click gone okay so let's see if that actually looks like a cable if it does great if it doesn't then we're wasting our time oh and it does it does now the bridge still needs to be higher it looks kind of wonky right now but that I think that I, s uh, I still almost am debating about going with the middle one and going down, uh, cables down. I, uh, I think that's going to look nicer. This just looks too clunky. Okay, well, that was a good two days work for nothing, but I am going to go with the one post in the middle. Oh, back to the drawing board. Okay, much progress has been made. I think this cable is complete here so now all I need to do is blueprint it and copy it onto this side uh, so the way we're going to do that is and I forget oh man I forget exactly which ones I need um, oh that's going to be a lot of blueprint and a lot of chisel I have a feeling I'm going to need more paper so we are going to get rid of some of my stone, here we go, and mortar and walls and such. Man, I still have all my junk from making candles. Bad. Bad inventory management. And then I think it's two, uh, maybe it's like this, two and two and paper. Ah. People, 
people how I had to Google this up the other time. How does this work? People, how do I? Oh, there, 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 there. I had something. I, I had it for a little bit. Ah, so it's two to one. Okay. Okay, kind of weird, but okay, I'll take it. Okay, so this will get me six more pieces of paper once it dries. Let's plop it down here. And let's go get more ink. I have one more ink sack, which I believe makes eight blottings. So I think I have fifth enough for 15 blueprints, which I don't think is going to be enough. Which may mean that I need, oh, it's 16. Ooh, that might do it. That might do it, but I'm almost out of paper pulp stuff. Oh, man, so much to do. Oh, I heard footsteps and quickly closed the door. And boy, oh boy, am I glad I did. Woo. I just instinctively closed them without turning around, and there he is. Yikes, I'm not sure how to get out now. I came in here to put these trees away. Um, I don't know that I can knock them back far enough. I may be stuck in here until he decides to wander away so I can make a run for it. Yes, yes, there. Yes, get out of here. Go away. Uh, can I make a... Uh, he's looking at me. He's looking at me. I don't think he can see me here. Maybe he'll walk away pretty soon. There. No! No! Okay. My chests are okay. My chests are okay. We can fix this. We can totally fix this. Uh, the doors go here. Like that. And I think we have dirt in here. Okay, no one will ever know. Oh, that could have been really, really, really bad, though. Whew. Finally, there we go. Okay, let's get this bridge built here. Uh, we need three copies of this base here. Oh, and I just realized this is a lot of chiseling. But anyway, let's try it here. So if we click on this block here, uh, we're going to call it the end base. End base. Done. And now if I get a hammer and a chisel, and I chisel, get into micro mode, that if I click on this and oh we just want one blueprint though and click on it wait wait I oh yeah yeah, yeah I did okay there we go see all that for uh all that for one in it uh guys you guys okay and so micro chisel it micro chisel it get another blueprint the end of base that this needs to be rotated by um, on the y axis 180. I think let's try it and click done. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, done. Okay, uh, 180 done. No, oh, no, what? no, wait, what? No, that didn't, that, that, oh no, did not work. Now I have to redo it. Oh man. And my chisel is almost gone. I might even need more than three. Okay, so right click. Uh, doesn't really matter. 
face. This is done now because this I actually turned this guy the right way. So more Aspen, chisel mode it, right click and say done. And then this chisel is junk. I'm not even going to try to use it. I've got a couple more. Okay, so now blueprint, I need three of this block here. Uh, so let's call it the, the long, long string. It's the second from bottom, long to be done. I have three long to be's, <laughs> okay? And so this guy right here, micro chisel it and chisel it. Yes. Okay. Okay, and now there and there, but this needs to be turned 180. Done. Click, it's on 180. Oh, micro chisel it first. Wait, what? Oh, I don't have a hammer. Always have a hammer, guys. Okay, it is micro chiseled. Why is it not? There, okay. Micro chisel it. Long to be. 180. Done. Click. Boom! Progress is being made. Okay, next. Okay, believe it or not, I am almost done. I have one final, oh, and it just stopped raining. One final uh, blueprint to use here, and it's this piece here, and I want to make sure I don't waste it because I am on my last blueprints. I think the, 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 the pixels that are behind this block are right there, so I'm going to call it the final one and be done with it and I just need one and micro chisel and click it and I am done and then right here I also need to chisel away just a little bit this I actually did with uh oh man uh, okay whatever okay so this is done here and let me just jump up here and chisel this away there okay two more let's not forget to turn these 180 so these blueprints need to be rotated 180 on the y-axis done micro chisel micro chisel blueprint it and blueprint it yay, yay. I'm down to one ink blot and one blueprint left and I used all three chisels plus uh, over half of another one so I actually had to go make more chisels oh but what do you think guys what do you think does it look like a suspension bridge I think it does although technically does that need to be supported probably I should have a, a uh, a watch we'll call it down there I think what I will do is actually yeah let me quickly finish this up then we're done for this episode let me go I have an idea let me go do something well I was going to try to just have one in the middle and do walls for it but it's not working so I need just a few more of these guys if I can get out here without you know what do you know what I will just have to do this. I think I have enough. One. And a two, a three, a four. Okay, how does that look? Are we done with the bridge? I think we are. I think we are done. I almost liked it better without those pillars, but it didn't really make sense to have those supports there without something down. And this river, by the way, is really, really deep. It's so deep that the light doesn't even reach to the bottom. If you swim down there, it is totally dark. So that's why I wanted to do more of a suspension bridge because it was so deep, but 
Anyway, the bridge is done. The bridge is done, which means this episode is done as well. Uh, next time, uh, tomorrow, it will actually be the first day of summer, if you can believe it. I spent all spring building bridges and such. Uh, I guess I did the, the farmland too. But anyway, it is getting dark, and I will see you guys next time. See you later.